Good evening, madam. The pianist I hired? Ask him through your working background, I must say. I'm impressed. You are most welcome. Come on in. Let me tell you something. Piano expresses the inexpressible. That's why you chose to become a pianist. Hmm. A wise choice. If I were you, I'd do the very same. However, I have my own ways to manifest my feelings. Dear me, I almost forgot. Yes, wipe your shoes on the doormats before entering. Ah, welcome. I have been genuinely waiting for your arrival. I'm your host, Sebastian Sethodus. But you can just address me as Sire Seth. Uh, yes, this should suffice. Please, wipe your shoes here. Look at you all. It's been almost two centuries since I had you as guests. Plus, it's been a long, boring day. But now that we have our pianist, it should be a magnificent performance. See how excited they were when I mentioned you? You seem like you're fidgeting. I just wish your ten years of experience will not fail me. This is the pianist, this one. I assure you that you will not be disappointed of her performance. Is she a human? Why do you ask? Drain? Hang on. Why is he running like a fool? What do you mean the guests are almost here? They're right next to me, you idiot. Be well presented, would you? This is Drin, our humble new butler. He will be making sure that you are all most satisfied. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Ask a question. Yes. She's the only human and no one will touch her. You all are forbidden to touch her. Hm. Now then... Since we're all on the same page, let us enjoy our night. Drin, take them to the concerto and show them their seats. Go on, chop chop. My dear, come with me. You really are nervous, aren't you? Need some water? Calm down. It's all right. Let me shed some light. All of the guests you just saw are vampires, as is my servants and myself. However, rest assured, for the creed is strict in this castle. Our judgment is keen, but fair. It's funny that our is mentioned to light. It terrifies me. Anyhow, if you turn to walk out of the gates to where you came from, it would be such a shame. Aside from that, our arrangement would go to waste. What a wonderful lady. I knew it. I knew you would stay. Not only that you're gifted with such talent, but also chosen. That's why you are here. Concerto's backstage should be just right through this little door. Here we are, darling. Mm hmm. It is Zumeto to Thonato, the most expensive grand piano in the land. You will be playing on it shortly. Oh. Excited, are we? 
such a sweet and adorbs. I will be back there, watching you. I know I will be entertained. You will find me back here once the show is over. I wish you best of luck, darling. Hello, sweetheart. Um, decent performance. You have managed to entertain everyone. You butchered a few notes. Impressive still, since I'm not able to find anyone who played this piece as good as yourself. Therefore, you will be staying, practicing, in the castle for the next four days. That will be the time for the major concerto. It is a short time, I know. But you can do it. It is not only your ten years of experience, but your artistry too. Look up at me. Know that the amount of both skill and patience that you have is very difficult to find in this world. Understand that I just... I just need it perfected, my dear. There you go. Much better. I never want to see you looking down and worried again. When you are playing the piano, your desires. Let go, and you will be the happiest girl in the world. I promise you. <laughs> Follow me then. Let me show you to your room that you will be sleeping in. You would like to ask questions? Go ahead. Do we sleep during the day? We sleep in the morning and wake up at night. Favorite food? Hmm. Oh, chocolate. Garlic? Ga don't, don't, don't say that again. What the hell is the matter with you? <sighs> Unbelievable. Anyways, have you uh, always looked enchanting? Beg upon. What's that skeleton on the piano bench, you say? Uh, no, is this for a decoration? It gets lonely in the great hall. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. I told him to play a piece that makes me feel so very happy, but he complained that it was eerie and wicked. So I showed him what eerie and wicked is. I demanded him to play it, with no failure. Otherwise, he must continue playing it until his last breath. It didn't go well for the poor man, I suppose. The shackles. They're there to bound the little rat. I would not want a rodent squeaking around. You see, the play is not just a task. It is a duty. Here is your room. I want you to make yourself comfortable just like your home. The bed is made for you, and the blankets are neatly folded in the wardrobe. Over to your right is the ensuite. The towers are also located inside. And also, I almost forgot, when you um, go to bed, you may or may not hear voices. Those are my servants, and they just evaluate the soul. Customs, you see. Worry not. 
they will be friendly with you. Any more questions? Are you afraid? Here, come. This is your wonderful mirror. It will make you feel better anyways. Ah, look how ravishing you look. This mirror shows us nothing less than the deepest, darkest desire of our hearts. So full of life and free will. Look how soft your hair is running through my fingers. Like a subtle stream. And your supple skin. Smooth and warm as ever. And the fear in your eyes. Everything about you. So pure. Who is it? Urgent? I'm coming. <sighs> this stupid demon and his military campaigns. One moment, my dearest. Curse you. You better make it quick, Lieutenant. I'm kind of busy. We don't need more men out there, do we? Mm-hmm. How many horses? Yes. Deploy them. At once. Dismissed. One of the guests said to me, Wait, if you're over there, then who's messing with the lights? <laughs> now then. Oh my, by my castle. She did not jump through the window, did she? Wherever you are, me and you, two hearts that time no distance dims. I'll find you soon. I swear it. Drain! Prepare the wagon. We have searching to do. Darling! Darling!